In this video, I want to talk about financial and economic analysis using circuits. For example, how you could model what's in your savings account, how you could model your financial future, or even the future of the economy, or global warming, or just about anything. Just using perhaps a half a dozen electrical components. And the most important component in modeling is the simple capacitor. Now recall that a capacitor stores charge and a capacitor stores coulombs. Coulomb is just a unit of charge, like dollars is a unit of money. And recall that there's a very simple equation for the charge that the capacitor stores. Q equals the capacitance in farads times the voltage. Now, if I make the value of my capacitor one farad and always do that in my simulations, I end up with the charge is equal to one farad or one times the voltage. So I can know how much charge is on this capacitor just by measuring the voltage at this terminal here. So think of this capacitor as like a tub. Let's say that there's a tub that can hold water. And let's say that we'll, we'll use an analogy. For example, if I put in one gallon of water, we'll say, say that that is equivalent to one coulomb of charge. And that that produces a, a voltage on my capacitor of one volt. Now, if I add another gallon of water, or in this case, coulomb, I add one more coulomb, and my capacitor now has two volts, since it's a one farad capacitor. Charge is equal to capacitance times voltage. So it's always a one-to-one -one relationship. So I add another coulomb, or a gallon of water, and I measure a height in the tub, or voltage on the capacitor, of 3 volts. So the important thing about the capacitor, it's a memory device. It remembers how much water is in this tub, or how much charge is on the capacitor. So it can retain a history. And so if I remove water from this tub, it's equivalent to removing charge from the capacitor. So let's, let's pretend. Let's pretend that one coulomb is equivalent to say a thousand dollars. And I want to model, for example, how much money I have in a savings account. So this capacitor can do that. I'll make my capacitor one farad. And if I put one coulomb of charge into this capacitor, I will read a voltage here of one volt. So if I have one volt on this capacitor and I'm modeling money instead of charge, I just read the voltage. I know how much I have in my account. If the voltage is two volts, then I have 2k. If the voltage is 10 volts, then my savings is 10,000 
dollars. So you see how a capacitor, besides storing charge, if we pretend it can store other things. So let's analyze that just a little bit. So here's our capacitor. We'll ground this plate. And we'll almost always use a one farad capacitor to keep the simple relation between charge and voltage. So here's my positive terminal. I'm going to have a current source over here. This is the direction of my current. And I'll ground this end of my current source. I'll have another current source over here. This current source will remove charge from my capacitor and we'll connect that to, to ground. Now, what I can do if I want to model, for example, my savings account. So the voltage at the, this terminal of the capacitor will tell me how much savings I have. Now, my simulation program will allow me to put an initial condition on this capacitor. So if I have initially $10,000 in my savings account, I could put 10 volts initial condition. And if I have no current in either current source, this capacitor is going to remember that $10,000 forever. Now I can cause a future event. I can turn on this current at some time in the future and I can I can save money or I can put charge on the capacitor. And I can also remove money from this account. I can program a future event and I can remove charge from this capacitor or in this case money from my savings account. So the neat thing is that I can do all this modeling on the computer using the SPICE simulator program. And there's no soldering. I don't have to buy any components. And the SPICE simulator is free. So I can do quite sophisticated economic and financial analysis just by knowing a few electrical components and a little bit of electronics and how to use the SPICE simulator. Now, instead of, for example, instead of modeling money at this particular node, I could model the world population. I could put an initial condition at this node with my simulator, and I could put billions of volts here and representing you know billions of people on Earth. This current source would be the number of people being born. This current source would represent people dying that are being removed from the population. Now I could also, if I were the owner of a factory that produced toasters, I could model my inventory of toasters at this node. I could model with this current source how many toasters are being produced how many toasters are being sold, and the remaining toasters are stored on my one farad capacitor as my inventory. So there are lots of different things I can model with just simple current sources and my one farad capacitor. Now, when we do simulations, there's two different worlds. So let's talk about that. There's our world. And there's the electrical equivalent world. Q U in our world, we could say that we have 1,000 items
and that in the electrical world, the equivalent would be one coulomb of charge. Now, a thousand, I could, I could have chosen a hundred items or one item. It, it really doesn't matter, but a thousand is a convenient number. A lot of our analysis will be financial analysis, and a thousand can represent a thousand dollars in a savings account, and that can be represented by one coulomb. So a thousand is just a handy unit. It could be anything, but in our simulations, we'll tend always to use a thousand. Now, a nice unit of time is one month. And one month is convenient. If I'm planning my retirement, how much I'm going to save each month, how much I'm going to spend each month, it's just a handy number. And in the electrical world, the equivalent of one month will be one second. One second of simulator time. So each second of simulator time will represent one month in our world. Now, in terms of resource flow, 1,000 per month will be represented in the electrical world by one coulomb per second. or that's also equal to one amp. One amp of charge flow. So the resource flow of 1K per month might represent my savings in my savings account or how many toasters my factory will produce in one month. It can represent just about anything you can think of. And in future videos, we'll use these conditions these are what I call standard conditions. So we use these standard conditions to solve different types of problems.